Thick rough, hard greens and the occasional swirling winds aren't making the FBR Open as easy as one might think. Welcome to PGA Tour Today, brought to you by Bearing Point Management and Technology Consultants. Forget the rowdy fans in the Coliseum at the 16th. Friday, lots of big name players are going to be nervous about getting into red numbers at TPC Scottsdale. Hello, I'm Wynn McMurray. Heading into the second round, only one of the four players in the field ranked inside the top ten in the world is under par. That's Jeff Ogilvie, the winner of the season opening Mercedes-Benz Championship. Anthony Kim, Camilo Vajegas and Phil Mickelson are going to need to pull themselves out of their round one slump if they want to avoid being booed at the 16th. While Mickelson did have the crowd cheering today during his 2009 debut, he enters Friday five over par and in a tie for 121st. In 17 years, the ASU grad has never missed a cut in his season opener, and this was his worst round since a 9 over 79 at last year's British Open. Anthony Kim isn't in a much better position. He carded a 2 over 73 Thursday, tying his worst round in Scottsdale. In 2007, he also opened with a 73, and he missed the cut with a 71 in the second round. Thursday, Kim opened with a bogey and two double bogeys in his first five holes, and he gave up six shots after hitting it out of bounds twice, finding a prickly lie and a hazard. Despite a couple birdies down the stretch, he says he has some work to do on his game, and it's not because of his shoulder, which kept him out of action last week. The shoulder wasn't a problem at all, but I, I need to hit some balls and, and start getting back in the group. I'm going to go to the range and try to figure it out. I, I'm a little rusty, and it, and it caught up to me. I think I hit four or five greens in regulation, and it's tough to play any golf course like that, but uh, I'm going to fight back tomorrow and hopefully put up a good round. Some other players are going to be trying to keep a good thing going Friday, including Lucas Glover and James Nitties, who were tied for the lead at five under par. Nitties is making just his third PGA Tour start this week, and the Aussie has proven he can play well in the desert under tough conditions. He finished second at Q School in Palm Desert in the fall. And he's in good position Friday to make his first cut of the year. Lucas Glover is ready to get back in the winner's circle. The 2005 Disney champion carded seven birdies Thursday against one bogey. Now we go to Michael Collins from the PGA Tour Network on Sirius XM Radio for his perspective from Inside the Ropes. Ooh, win. First round's in the books. How about that? Oh, the desert is nice. Not a cloud in the sky. President Bush was here, number 41. Didn't have his kid along with him. Probably still a little. Anyway, let me tell you something. This course is playing firm and fast. Everyone I talked to couldn't believe how firm these greens were in the first round. And you know what? They're not going to get any softer. You know why? The weather's supposed to be perfect. It's going to keep getting warm. There was no frost delay, which they thought they might get in the first round, and there's going to be none in the second round. I'm going to tell you something right now. Phil Mickelson has never, ever missed the cut, his first event on the PGA Tour. He's in jeopardy of doing that right now because the first round, Phil, uh, not too good out there. But I'll tell you what, James Nitties. How about this guy? Anybody ever heard of this guy before? No. But he comes second at Q School, comes out here and starts rolling. I'm looking at the media guy. Says, interest, clubbing, girls. Thank goodness there was a comma between those two. <laughs> anyway, this golf course, let me tell you something. Great shape. 71,000 people in round one showed up. That was the attendance. Now, Friday and Saturday, trust me when I tell you, there is probably going to be 250 to 300,000 people showing up here because this is the greatest show on grass and it's going to keep being that way. The party at the FBR is just getting started. Make sure you hear us. Series 209 XM 146, always on PGATour.com. Y'all know where it is. Noon till 6, my time. 2 to 8, East Coast time. You figure out the rest of the stuff because that's Pythagorean Theorem, West Coast, Mountain, the whole, I don't, yeah, I'm just saying, you know where to find us. When? Tell me. Thanks, Mikey. The second round can also be seen on the Golf Channel starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. PGA Tour Today is brought to you by Bearing Point Management and Technology Consultants, delivering new thinking for a changing world.